Now let's practice using the substitution method. So in this method you don't need to write the equations above each other but what you do need to do is try get either an x or a y alone. So I'm going to call this equation number one and I'm going to call this one equation number two and I'm going to get x alone by just doing that. So I'm going to take the y to the other side and I'll call that equation number three. Now because we've used equation number one, we're now going to substitute equation three into equation number two. So we're going to sub three in to two. So what we mean by that is wherever we see x, we're going to replace it with four minus y because they are equal. So equation number two says y is equal to eight plus x. So instead we're going to say y is equal to eight plus, and now because there's an x, we open up a bracket and we're going to say four minus y. And now we can go ahead and get rid of that bracket. Now we can solve for y. So we're going to take this y to the left. And so on the, right, on the left hand side we're going to have y plus y which is 2y. And on the right we're going to have 12. Then to get y alone you divide by 2 and so y will be equal to 6. With this technique you now want to just substitute. I mean you can substitute that 6 back into any one of the equations. You can substitute it back into equation 3, equation 2. Or equation 1. However, what are we trying to find now? We're trying to find x. So I always like to substitute it back into equation 3 because x is already by itself. So it's as easy as this. x is equal to 4 minus y and so we know what y's answer is already so in brackets we'll just put it there as a 6 and so that's going to give us x is equal to 4 minus 6 and so x is equal to negative 2. So now let's look at number two. So we'll call this equation number one and we'll call this equation number two. Remember the first step is to try get x or y by itself. So I'm going to try to take this equation here and then get y alone. So I'm just going to write that like this. And then I'm going to get y alone by taking the four to the left hand side like that. So y is equal to 2x minus four and we'll call that equation number three. So which equation did we use to generate equation number three. Well we've already used equation number two so we're not going to use that one again so we're going to substitute equation number three into equation number one. So let me just write equation number one down here and so wherever we see a y we'll replace it with 2x minus four. But remember always replace it in brackets and so it's going to be like that and so we're going to get 3x this minus is going to jump in there and it's going to become minus 2x and it's going to jump over there so to become plus four equals 9. Then we have 3x minus 2x which is just x and then I'm going to take the 4 over to the other side so that's going to be 9 minus 4 and so x is equal to 5. So what are we looking for now? We're looking for y. So it's always best to substitute that answer back into equation number 3 because equation number 3 already has y by itself and so all we need to do is put the x as 5 in brackets and so that's going to give us 2 times 5, which is 10, minus 4. And so y is equal to 6.